So with us now is CNN political analyst and White House reporter for the Washington Post, uh, Tulu Olorunipa, and he joins us now from Washington. So good to speak to you. What a week. But I do want to break down the comments the president has been making in just the past few hours. Uh, what strikes you about uh, his conversations, particularly when it comes to COVID and rallies? Yeah, the president is eager. He's anxious to get back onto the campaign trail, and he says that he's going to be holding a rally as early as this weekend, as early as this Saturday, which we know is just, uh, you know, about 10 days after he was first diagnosed with the coronavirus. And we still don't know sort of whether or not he continues to be con contagious and infectious, but he is really anxious to get back on the campaign trail. He's been in quarantine of some kind for the past week plus, and uh, this is the final stretch of the campaign. And it's clear that the president is going to uh, get back out there and start campaigning, even if it may not be safe in terms of the public health, uh, for him to be out in big crowds and, and having big groups gathering. Um, but he is talking about uh, getting back on the campaign trail. He's talking about uh, essentially saying that he's immune at this point, even though it's not clear that, that he is or that he's no longer infectious. But he's really talking about this battle that he's had with the coronavirus as if he's already defeated it, as if, as if he's already put it behind him, as if he's able and, and, and capable of going back about his business and going back to the major rallies and major events that led to the spread of this virus, not only in, in the White House, but also directly in the Oval Office with the president and the first lady contracting this disease. Yeah, but the messaging here, beyond the, the public health concerns about a president or anybody infecting a lot of people in, in a rally-type scenario, the messaging to ordinary Americans just before the election, when so many people have died of COVID. Yeah, the president seems to be really pushing this message that he was tough, that he got the got the best medicine, and you know the coronavirus is not something that people should be afraid of or that people should allow to dominate their lives. And essentially, the 211,000 plus Americans who have died over the past seven months, the president is saying, you know, this is not something that we need to worry about. That we now have all of these drugs, all of these experimental treatments that he was able to get access to, and you know, Americans should just go back to normal, get back into big crowds, pretend like this coronavirus crisis is not happening. And it's really a message that's far out of step with the reality on the ground, which is that the number of cases is growing on a daily basis. We're losing almost a thousand Americans every day are dying to this, uh, this virus. And the president, you know, can pretend that this is not a major problem or a major challenge or it's something that's fading away. But that is not the case. So by sending a message that it's OK to go back into big crowds, it's OK to continue holding rallies, it really pushes a message that uh, is far out of step with the actual reality of people continuing to contract this disease and dying at very high numbers, even as the president says this is something that we don't have to worry about. And politically, what's the impact of this messaging as well? We're seeing um, him dip in the polls quite significantly. Um, and, and with that in mind, not taking part in a virtual uh, debate with Joe Biden. Um, who loses out of that more? I mean, is this a president who needs this virtual debate more than Joe Biden? According to the polls, the president needs uh, something to change the, the trajectory of the race much more than his rival. Right now, the president is losing significantly uh, in the public polling to Joe Biden. He's behind in most of the swing states. He's behind on a national level. And he needs something to change the race over the next four weeks. Otherwise, he is going to be a one-term president. So some of his advisors are trying to get him to uh, change his mind about pulling out of this debate, get him to find out some way to participate in the debate. They realize that even if the president is doing rallies, you're never going to get the same kind of audience that you get with a national televised debate uh, with your rival. Uh, multiple times the number of millions of Americans will be watching if, if this debate takes place. Tulu, always good to speak to you. Thanks so much. Appreciate you joining us. Thank you.